Hello dear friends, how are you doing? God bless you for coming my way again. We are in a world where because of one virus, the world is on a standstill. Businesses have collapsed, loved ones have died, things are not well with so many people. It may have affected you in one way or the other or it may not have affected you at all because none of your family members or friends may have had it. But dear friends, today I was reading Exodus chapter 34 and the Bible says Moses, the most humble servant of God, had met with the Lord and the Lord himself mentioned his name as the Lord. And Moses at once, the Bible says, bowed down and worshipped the Lord and said, Lord, if I find favor with you, O Lord, go along our company. If the Lord is with us, who can be against us? For those of you who listen to my voice, you may be at peace. You may not have been affected by the virus in one way or the other, or you may have been affected no matter the situation, can you cry for your nation? Can you cry for humanity? Can you plead on the Lord so that the, our generation will be saved? Your prayer counts. And so today, we are talking about a cry for our nation. The first Sunday of June. What is your disposition towards humanity? especially in this season of COVID-19 where people are in trouble. Can you pray for your nation? Can you intercede for your nation? Moses could have prayed for himself because he was a friend of God to the point that God himself could visit him according to Exodus chapter 34. But any time he faced God, Anytime he had that encounter, he will pray for his nation. When you get the encounter, when you're able to rise in the morning, who do you pray for? Yourself and your family only? Remember, no matter which country you are, when the lockdown came, it affected you in one way or the other. If it affects humanity, it affects you. If it affects humanity and your nation, it affects you. So why don't you plead on behalf of your nation? Let us dedicate this month to prayer for our friends, those affected and those infected. Those who are affected by way of their jobs, their income, the death of loved ones, or anything. God will listen to your prayer and the world can be saved. It is time. It is your duty. Today I appeal to your conscience according to Exodus chapter 34. You can do something. I remember having come down in the cloud, the Lord stood with Moses and there proclaimed his name as Lord. Now you and I know his name as Lord, as Jesus. As Messiah, what can you do for your nation? What can you do for humanity? Pray. Be disciplined and pray. And this will also pass. I remember myself. There was no way I could even go to work because there was lockdown. Of course I had a pass because I'm a health worker. But you run through the streets and you see empty streets. And I ask myself, what is this? It is your turn. We can pray. Our God is more able to do what he can do. He only needs us to come to him and pray. Not in selfishness, but in selflessness. Your prayer can save our nation. Can you dedicate at least a minute or two each day? And pray to the Lord of heaven and earth, and he will listen to us. This is my message for you today. 
God bless you. Save the world by your prayer. And you yourself will have peace. Shalom. Peace. May God save our nation. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. No matter what we are going through, all praise belongs to you because you know what you are doing. Lord, all we are saving is, and all we are saying, save the world. Heal the sick. Comfort the dying. Save the souls of those who have died already. And those who are suffering because of this COVID-19. Restore their jobs. Restore their souls. Keep them alive. And Lord, bless us once again. Renew our land. Lord, we make this prayer through no other name but the name Jesus, our brother and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you again another time. Shalom. Peace. Thank you.